Good morning, yogis. So we'll begin in supported bridge today. Um, and then you'll want to have your props handy. We won't need this strap right away if we do use it um, today um, in our little half an hour class or mini session. But having it handy is always helpful. So just come onto your back and you might choose your block on low to start, but some of you might choose medium. You just want to make sure that your pelvis can be really heavy on the block. Relax. We might start with the arms overstretched overhead. Try to find a place where you can relax. Close your eyes. Just take a few deeper breaths into your chest and belly. We'll extend a right leg forward, heel on the floor. The toes will probably drop out for the side edge of the mat. And we'll switch sides. Left leg extends out, right one comes in. And allow your body to soften, face and jaw, breath smooths out. Left foot slides in. We'll take our feet up into the air for legs up the wall. A little restorative inversion for a few moments. Any arm placement. Maybe you set an intention for practice. Whether it's an affirmation or a word, a feeling. Mentally repeating your intention again. Begin to point and flex toes up and down, and maybe little circles with the ankles. Allow your knees to hug into your chest, releasing the feet to the floor. Press down, hips come up, hold your hips up, so, uh, bridge pose, block comes up. Take two more breaths here. And we lower the hips down to the floor. Little windshield wiper side to side. Hug right knee in, extend left leg long. We'll twist right knee across the body, possibly taking right arm and gaze out to the right. And just a couple of deep breaths here. We'll come back center, hug right knee to shoulder. Before we switch sides, figure four, right ankle to left knee. Little hip stretch, possibly using your right elbow to gently encourage the right femur away as we pull a little bit more on the left side. And we'll switch, supine twist, left knee to shoulder, right leg long. We twist, left knee to the right. Feel free to close your eyes, breathing into the rib cage, noticing the 
contraction and the expansion. One more breath. Bringing left knee back center. Cross left ankle to right knee for figure four here. Stretching left hip. We'll come into Ujjayi breath if you haven't already. So that little constriction at the back of the throat. Two more breaths. Hug both knees into your chest and take happy baby. Maybe we rock. Maybe we start to kick out a little bit through the legs. If it feels okay in your body, you could eventually make your way to a wide straddle. That's not too intense. And grab onto the backs of your thighs and rock and roll up and up and back. Maybe you do a few of them, massage the spine. If that doesn't feel good, feel free to just come up, balance on the sits bones, holding the backs of the thighs. Or we could always have the heels on the floor. Just want to lean back, lift up through the top of your sternum. Maybe arms reach. We'll go center and right and left for a little bit of oblique work. Heels can stay on the floor. We don't have to lift the hips. But you might, 10, 9, chest up, 6, 5, 4, almost there, 3, 2, 1, come back, center, cross the ankles, and come on to hands and knees. Maybe we just do a few rounds of cat-cow. Feel free to move your body in any fashion or any little extras stretch wise that feels good in your body. Come to head up, tail up, tuck your toes, and then press back to down dog. And pedal heels. Ujjayi breath. Right leg lifts up, inhale. Right foot steps forward, moon pose. Left knee down. When you're ready, we rise. You can gaze forward or maybe a little bit up. Exhale, hands to the mat, step forward. Halfway lift. And we bow. Feet together. Utkatasana, sit down. Reach up, exhale, hands to heart. Get a little deeper, take another breath, and we fold. Halfway lift, separate your feet hip width, right foot steps back, left knee down, moon pose. Arms rise when you're ready. A little tuck of tail, maybe going slightly deeper into the back bend, but just be Gentle with your body. Notice your breath. Hands to the mat, step back, down dog. Come forward, plank. Plank on the elbows one at a time. Sternum pulls forward, heels reaching back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Lower the pelvis to the floor, sphinx. You can slide your elbows forward. Press through the tops of the feet. Lower head and chest, slide your hands back. Float your feet up off the mat. Bend the head, floating cobra. And we lower. Feet press, head and chest lift up. Hands might hover. 
and maybe we float the feet again. Three, two, we lower and press back to down dog. Left leg lifts up, inhale. Left foot steps forward, crescent lunge this go around. When you're ready, arms skyward. Exhale, twist to the left. We can stay here or we can take left hand to left hip, taking it into a reverse uh, crescent lunge. Or maybe left hand to right hamstrings. Ujjayi. Back it out to the twist. Come forward, crescent. Hands to the floor. Step forward. Halfway. And we back. Feet hip width. Utkatasana. Sit down. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Right foot stays. Left foot steps back. Crescent lunge. Right foot forward. Exhale, we twist to our right. We can stay here in the twist, right hand to hip or right hand to left hamstrings. Take it up and back. Ujjayi. We back it out to our twist. Come back, center crescent. Take a breath. Hands to the floor, step back, down dog. Come forward, plank, push forward on the tips of the toes, maybe the knees down, slow lower partway chaturanga, and then press back up. Two more chaturanga push-ups. Exhale, lower partway, then back up. One more, partway down, pause to the floor. Cobra, maybe we float the feet. Arms could go out for Shalabhasana. Three, two, hands plant. Tuck the toes, press back to down dog. Lift your heels high, bend your knees. Step, hop, or walk to the top of the mat. Halfway, pause. Sweep to standing, reach overhead. Hands to heart space. Let's go uh, eagle, arms overhead. Left arm under, cross at elbows, maybe at wrist. We could always grab shoulders. We sit. Left leg over. Toes can be a little kickstand. You want to focus your gaze one spot and check in with the breath. Unwind your left leg. Step back for warrior one today. When you're ready, arms go skyward. Exhale, open warrior two. Reverse on an inhale. Side angle. Extend left arm overhead to so extended side angle. Ujjayi pranayama. Reverse warrior up and back. Cartwheel your hands to the mat. Hold a high plank. Bring left knee down. Kick the foot out behind you. Coming into modified vashistasana. Right arm overhead. You want to push through the left palm. Maybe we lift our right foot. Getting on a little bit more oblique work. We'll bring right foot down and come into gate pose. Push off the left foot, left, uh, left knee, left hand, up and over. Right forearm can come into the outside of the hip crease. Ujjayi breath. Come back to Vashistasana, side plank, high plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, and back to down dog. Lift your heels, bend your knee, walk, step or hop to the top. Halfway, pause, sweep to standing overhead, and exhale, hands to heart space. Other side, feet together, arms overhead, eagle, right arm under, cross at elbows, maybe at wrist. We sit, right leg over. Lean upper body back. 
squeeze the limbs into one another, the legs squeeze into one another, the arms squeeze into one another and down into the chest. I'm gonna unwind our right leg, send it back for warrior one. All 10 toes are pointed forward, but back foot out at about a 45 degree angle. And always stay a little taller. You don't have to get deep into the hips. Exhale, open, warrior two. Reverse. Extended side angle, right arm over. Head, so bicep over ear. Core stays active. Reverse warrior up and back. Left knee gently out, take a deep breath. Cartwheel your hands to the mat. We hold a high plank for a moment. Bring right knee down, kick the foot out. Modified Vashisasana side plank. Left arm overhead, maybe left foot lifts up. Just feel your core muscles engage, ribs pulling in, reaching back through our left heel. Bring the foot to the floor, push off right hand, right knee, gate pose, parigasana. And a couple deep breaths here to right side. Back to Vashisasana, take an inhale, high plank, push forward, knees up or down, three chaturanga push-ups, lower all the way to, your, to the floor, the mat, right arm out, winged pose, thumb at eye level, and we're going to use the left hand to push us over onto the right side of the body. You might hug one or both knees up toward your chest, possibly a block between the inner thighs. And we'll switch sides, moving back to your belly. Extend the left arm out to left side, thumb at eye level. Looking right, right hand will push us over on the left side. And side to side can be very different, especially when we're working with the shoulders. Just be gentle with your body. One of the, the best things about yoga is that it's yoga practice, not yoga perfect. more about feeling and sensation versus, you know, those textbook pictures that we often see in, you know, magazine or online. One more breath here. Slowly make your way back to your belly. Stack the forearms, adjust your ribs, your tummy, and maybe we take the feet and the knees and angle them out for crocodile. And breathe into your belly. Bring the inner thighs back toward one another. Hands under shoulders. Press up on the hands and knees. Take the knees wide, child's pose. And we'll thread the left arm underneath the right armpit. Maybe a gentle press through the right palm. Hips anchor back. 
and switch sides. Left arm forward, right arm threads under left. Two more breaths here. And come center up on the hands and knees. And let's swing the legs forward in front of us. Bring the soles of your feet together to touch for butterfly. Making adjustments of feet or hips lower body. We lengthen and then round. Lift up, right leg out for forehead to knee pose, left foot touches right in our thigh. And we can adjust your pelvis, arms sweep overhead, we turn to right toes, and round down. A little hamstring stretch, backside body. And you might bend your right knee and you might bend it a lot, that's okay. Maybe the hamstring's really talking to you this morning. Lift up, we switch sides. Left foot out, right foot to left inner thigh. Making those adjustments, arms come overhead when we're ready. We turn to the left toes and round down. And the same thing with the hamstrings, side to side can be very different. I'm gonna honor our body. Smooth out your breath. Lift up, bring your feet forward in front of you. The feet kind of grip the mat, reach forward, and we're gonna C curve the spine down, grip the feet to the floor, using core, and lower all the way down. And then we'll go for one more supported bridge. Block on lower medium, and maybe arms go overhead one more time. You can extend the right leg forward, Just getting into the hip flexor, so as. And switch sides. Left leg long. Left foot slides in. If your block is on the medium height, you might go to low, and then we'll do legs up the wall. One more time. Feet go into the air. Any placement for arms, you can make adjustments. Close your eyes. Soften your whole body.
You're welcome to stay with legs up the wall. If you'd like to bring your feet to the floor and come off of your props, you can do that as well. Maybe we do recline butterfly or come into traditional Shavasana. Full body softness, no effort. Remind yourself of your intention, mentally repeat it. Know that you're worthy of the asking and the receiving. It's an honor, truly a pleasure and a privilege to share this time, space and energy together. I hope you have a beautiful day. I bow to you. Namaste.